We're bringing On Cinema at the cinema to the cinema here in Victorville, California. I love this movie. Movie expertise, opinions, the classics. Who won the box office this week? It's season eight of Tim Heidecker's On Cinema at the Cinema. Hello, welcome to another episode of a new, a new season of On Cinema at the Cinema with my your host Tim Heidecker here at uh, um, for season eight, and my guest is uh, Greg Turkington. Hey guys, good to be back with some uh, very important news that Tim will fill you in on. This is a very different season of On Cinema at the Cinema. Yeah, so we can tell we're at a new space here. This is an actual cinema that we have relocated the On Cinema at the Cinema experience to Victorville because of some issues I'm having with the people that let us shoot the previous seasons. And They're it's not, near the archives, which on, gives us access to the... Thought. And so it's different. We're out here in Victorville now, and that's been a different change of style for me. It's Big, kind of the new Hollywood, they're saying. There's a lot of movies being produced in Victorville, and of course the history of the city is it's always been a movie city, so right. it makes sense for us to have not only the archive, but our filming location here. We're gonna open the doors and start showing movies as well as using it to film uh, future seasons of On Cinema at the Cinema. And thanks to the Tom Cruise Memorial Arts Fund, we were able to lease this property. It was an abandoned theater and was sort of rotting away here in the desert. And uh, this has been the big announcement that uh, we are now, I'm now primary, the uh, Tom Cruise Arts Foundation is now a primary investor in the Victorville Film Center, run curated by Greg Turkington here. Starting next week, we're going to be showing one movie a night uh, at 7 p.m., and then hopefully by the end of the summer, we'll be up to two or three movies a night, all coming straight out of my archive. So a lot of popcorn classics will be on the screen. It's the best of all worlds, and of course, the work at the archives, which is just a mile, a, mile and a half away, that work still continues, and we're building up uh, a bigger collection than has ever been seen. And thanks to Tom Cruise Jr., wherever he is, uh, that he's shining down on us and leading us towards a brighter future and encouraging the arts. It's and just, also it's, to, excuse me, also to uh, my thanks to um, my wife's, uh, Ayaka's father, uh, who has also put in some significant funding towards the expansion and the success of the Victorville Film Center. Uh, my only request to you as a director is to get working on fixing the air conditioning because it's about 125 degrees in here. Um, and it's been, a, it's, I know oh, that you're working somebody on Somebody stole the copper wire. This was board, boarded up for years and I would walk by this place on my way uh, to the supermarket and I would say, wow, that could be a really great theater if only we had the resources to make it happen. And so this is kind of a dream come true to actually see it opened up thanks to the Arts Foundation and of course, uh, Ayaka's father. So. Very exciting to be this new season. Thanks for checking in. Thanks for checking out uh, Decker Unclassified. It's been a tremendous season. The, the season finale begins this Friday. So check out the season finale of Decker Unclassified. And I think you'll enjoy what you see. It's been a lot of fun putting that show out. It's been the number one show right now on cable and on network TV. So we are excited about that. Season four was the lucky season. And uh, I'm very proud of our ratings. And we have some good movies to talk about today. Some movies. Yes. Couple still, by the way, a couple more updates. We're uh, Dakar is still hard at work on our big LP. We're going to be finishing the record over the next few months. I'm in that writing process now, where I'm trying to access uh, song ideas. So, if anybody has any song ideas, let, let us know. We you should are, do a jingle for the new theater. I'm not going to be doing jingles, you know, at all. Just something we could use as radio ads locally to get people to know that this theater is uh, Star Trek Beyond. S beyond what? Did someone we'd get this cut off? That's the title. All right. Just directed by Justin, Justin Lin, cast starring Chris Pine, Idris El Elbow, Sophia Buotella, 
Zoe Sol Saladana. The Enterprise crew explores the furthest reaches of space where they encounter a myster uh, mysterious enemy who puts everything the Federation stands for to the test. This is a Star Trek movie, one of, the, one of my favorite series, uh, franchise series uh, that has come out besides Star Wars. It's really interesting to see them take the story to new heights and go where no man has gone before. I give it six bags of popcorn and uh, a cup of warm, a cup of cold co soda. Yeah, this is an interesting Star Trek movie in that it was directed by the guy that made The Fast and the Furious. And there's going to be some Trek heads out there that are going to say, that's a little bit too much like the Fast and Furious, but in outer space with spaceships. And that's true, but I actually think this is the best Star Trek movie since uh, Star Trek II, which was set in San Francisco. Uh, I really love this movie. It's great to see the gang back. I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn and uh, a Klingon cola. How about that? Mm. Whatever that is. Well, next up we have Hillary's America, starring Hillary Clinton. Yuck. <clears throat> She's uh, sour to look at. Usually I would hate to see her in a movie, but this is an expose of her. And Hillary's America, The Secret History of the Democratic Party, stars Hillary Clinton, Desesh Souza, uh, Desesh Souza, D, D, Souza. And cast starring Dinesh and Elizabeth Jackson and Artie Mazzoni. And this is a documentary film uh, story about the, a warning site. It's a clarion call. It's actually the uh, canary in the coal mine letting us know that there is a chance of uh, the end of the American experience. The country itself is under collapse. And we are at risk of a complete takeover by the Hillary not, uh, people who are in charge of Hillary Clinton. Uh, this is one of my favorite movies of the year. I think it will win the best picture. A b bombshell movie that's going to expose Hillary Clinton for the fraud that she is, the criminal she is. She belongs in prison, in my opinion. She has broken every commandment, every uh, law. Well, just discuss um, the movie. And uh, this is my opportunity to speak my mind. We already and had that earlier with a soapbox, with a 60-minute soapbox, and so now people want to know about the movies. Well, there's no question about it that she deserves life term in prison, if not more. And by more, I mean execution uh, by, for treason. They should all be strung up, and uh, everybody well, was... Uh, they're going to get our theater shut down. No, I'm for formally requesting the United States government try and uh, try Hillary Clinton and her husband's to uh, stand trial and be executed. And that is an official request wow. on behalf of, of a true American patriot myself. And let me say this, I believe, and I think we can start a movement here easily, uh, we should pass a law in all 50 states that you can, not allowed to vote unless you've seen this movie, it's not much to ask. And I think we would see how that would affect the voting, the polls. Then you'll at least be educated, so when you vote, you know who you're voting for. So I give, of course, I give it six bags, and I give it uh, all the cups of soda in the world and value the ability to get that, because in Hillary's America, you're not going to be able to even get soda anymore. Well, I like your idea to promote film going as a, as a new theater manager. I think it's, it's, it's a cool idea. I was skeptical of this movie when you told me we were reviewing it. I thought, oh boy, another documentary. To me, that's not a real movie. I was very surprised in that this movie is only partially a documentary. A lot of it are recreated scenes using actors, and they're very good actors, and it has a lot of action and intrigue and suspense. Um, I think you have to approach it as sort of a popcorn movie and not get bogged down in the politics, which to me isn't very interesting. But there actually are some, some real uh, chills and thrills in this thing. and. Uh, Strictly from that point of view, I really enjoyed it. How do you explain, how do you sleep at night knowing what the truth is and then ignoring well, it? I don't know if it's it. true or not. From the point of view of somebody that loves, uh, you know, thrillers like The French Connection, All the President's Men, those sorts of uh, political espionage intrigue movies, I thought it, it fit very well with those. The parts that didn't work for me were the parts that use old news footage and and that sort of thing that doesn't really belong on the silver screen. If I want to watch the news, I'll turn What's on the review? TV. What's your review? Uh, I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn and a little pair of scissors so they can cut out all those news sequences and stick with the action scenes. Okay. Doesn't seem like you liked it uh, the way I did. Well, I, well don't, 
be an idiot uh, and miss this one. This is the most important movie of the year. Don't bother seeing Star Trek. If you can only see one movie, make it Hillary's America. It'll scare the shit out of you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time at the movies. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Uh, one other announcement. Um, people have been uh, wanted to let everyone know, wish me well and my wife Ayaka well. The Lord has blessed us and Ayaka and me with the chance to try again, and we have a, another one on the way. So. That's another we are um, expecting. We're having another uh, child. Mayaka, my, my Ayaka is with child, pregnant. Uh, wasn't not planned, but uh, we have that uh, coming up. That's going on with me. Thank you. So I just found out. Have to have the baby here in Victorville. It's not gonna no. Work.